In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the motion file represented by the ASF AMC file format. The ASF file represents the motion skeleton hierarchy, while the AMC file represents the motion data. Let's open the ASF file first. Again, we can open it with Notepad. This is the structure of the skeleton hierarchy. We have the root, which is the pelvis, and we have the hips, upper legs, lower legs, foot, and so on. For each joint, we have some information such as the joint limit, the direction, the length, the axis, and so on. And we have three values for this joint, such as the rotational in X, Y, and C asset. The root, again, is more interesting. It will have an extra three dimensions for translation in the X, Y, Z word direction. The hierarchy is defined here at the end of the file. The first line indicates that the root is connected to the left hip, the right hip, and the lower back. The left hip is actually connected to the left foot. And similarly, the lower back is connected to upper back. So this is the hierarchy of the skeleton structure. Now we use Notepad to open the AMC file and read the motion data. Each block here represents one frame. This is frame one. and you will have the parameter for each joint. This is frame two. For example, at the root joint or at the lower back joint, you have the rotational data. The root joint will have extra three numbers for the translation, translation of the root and three numbers for the rotation of the root. There are some joints doesn't come with free direction of rotations. This is because, say for example, for the wrist, it, is, it can only be rotated in one direction. Again, the first frame is very complicated. It's not good if we import it into Motion Builder and try to use it to map it to a character. So what we will do is that we will zero out or the rotational component. We keep the translation one, which is the first three numbers in the which join, but we zero all the other numbers. Now all the rotation components are being zeroed. We'll save the motion file into another one. Again, because Notepad by default saved file in the .txt format, 
will use the double quotation such that it will save the file in the .amc format. In Motion Builder, we click File, Motion File Import, and select the motion file and the skeleton hierarchy. We use Control click to select both files and open them at the same time, the skeleton hierarchy and the motion file. You can see that this is now a one in motion. Again, the first frame is very complicated. Now take a look on the edit motion file. Body hierarchy and the motion file. It's exactly the same motion, but the first frame now is a T-pose, which is a lot easier to be manipulated in later stage.